Are you considering a move to Southern Maryland? Watch this video for my top eight reasons why you should choose to move down here to Southern Maryland. All right, what's up everybody? My name is Rob Scout and I'm with eXp Realty here in Southern Maryland. And today we're gonna to be talking about the eight reasons why you should move to Southern Maryland. Why I think Maryland, Southern Maryland is a great place for a lot of different people to move um, to you. Now, I'm not gonna say it's for everybody. There are some uniquenesses that make it, you know, some people really don't like. Uh, but let's go over the top eight things that I think are reasons why you should or you would love to move to Southern Maryland. All right, so before we get started, if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every time we put out new content about Southern Maryland. Uh, we love helping people move down here and this content really helps you get a good idea um, of where to live, what to do when you're down here, and, and even if it's just a good fit for you. So make sure you click the subscribe button, click the bell so you're notified every time we uh, put out new content. And also, if you're moving down here, make sure you reach out to us so we can help you avoid any mistakes and picking the wrong place to live. We can help you find the best place for you in the best area and kind of get all those things that you want in a new area, a new home in Southern Maryland and really help guide you through the process. We're locals and we can help you make those decisions like locals do. So make sure you use that contact information below. Email me, call me, text me, whatever works best for you and I'd be happy to help. All right, so let's go ahead and start with my top eight reasons for moving to Southern Maryland. Now, talking to other people that moved down here as well, these are attributes that they really like as well. So I think these might be things that um, you know resonate with other people moving to the area too. All right, so let's start with number eight. Number eight is the pace of life. Now, if you come from somewhere maybe in like you know the DMV area around Washington D.C. or another city, Southern Maryland has a slower pace of life. Um, things just move slower around here. It, it's kind of nice because, you know, when you're driving, you're not, you know, stuck in traffic, you're not yelling at each other, you're, you know, you're able to just leisurely drive down the road or in some cases um, have no one on the road so you can drive a little faster too. Um, but for the most part, you're able to kind of go at your pace. You're able to kind of do your thing around here. Um, yeah, even when it comes down to just the attitude amongst people. With that slower pace of life, it just means too that we really value being able to spend time outside, spend time with each other, taking that break, being outdoors. It just is one of those kind of places where that is a priority compared to, you know, rushing from point A to point B, being super productive. Um, and, and, you know, that's not where a lot of the value in Southern Maryland comes from, whether it's, you know, going outside, going fishing, going to different beaches, or just taking time out, going watching, going and watching the local high school sports, or going and supporting our rec leagues and things like that. We just do things a little bit slower and are a little more laid back down here. Number seven is the different styles of living. So you really can choose different styles of living within Southern Maryland. And even if you do want that faster paced life, if you want to live by more shops, if you want to be you know, closer to, to more things, you can move up towards that Charles County or Waldorf area and be right in the middle. It's not really a city Waldorf is, and it's kind of like a you know a mini city um, with a lot of good shops and things like that and uh, the only mall in Southern Maryland but still be far enough away from the capital region where you don't feel like you're in a mass of humanity. Um, so you could choose that lifestyle, that style of living, but you could also choose so many other different ones. Southern Maryland is great for a waterfront lifestyle. If you've been dying to move onto the water and you know have your boat, be able to hop on there, go out and go do a cruise or go do some fishing and things like that, Southern Maryland is great for that. If you're someone that just wants you know that acreage in the middle of nowhere with nobody around you and you just want to have your little hobby farm, Southern Maryland has that for you too. Um, has that in spades. You can find that in a lot of different areas in St. Mary's, Calvert, and Charles County. Um, and also, if you want to be around people, if you want to be like in that suburban lifestyle, there are tons of different communities that have that suburban feel where you are, you know, right near your neighbors. It's that, you know, on Saturday and Sunday, those community events. Um, I can think of a few neighborhoods right around us that um, around us in St. Mary's County that are always doing different food truck events and Easter, you know, egg hunts and all different types of stuff. Santa Claus comes on a truck and a fire truck and things like that. So just so many cool things that um, you, you can find in those kind of suburban communities as well. So there's a different housing area. There's a different area for all different types of lifestyles. So don't just think, oh, Southern Maryland is a bunch of, you know, open fields and water. No, there's so many other different things around us um, that you can find in other places. But I, like I said before, it's slower pace. It's more laid back. 
and I think it's just a little less crowded, and I think that goes a long way. Number six, the number six reason why you should move to Southern Maryland is the commute. Now, it is not like a commute, um, you know, where you're living right next to your, you know, DC area job, but it's not a bad commute. Uh, and after you get out of that traffic that you're gonna have to fight anyways around the Beltway and stuff, it's an easy drive back in there. You're not, you know, stopping and going once you get into the Southern Maryland counties. For the most part, you're hitting that speed limit um, after you get out of Waldorf and, and go through all those stoplights. You're hitting that speed limit and you're just going home and you're cruising and you, you can listen to your audiobooks, you can listen to your music or whatever it is and just kind of chill and have that decompression before you get home. And kind of, you know, for me, being able to leave my job where it is and have that time to decompress in the car is really valuable. Um, and not only are you close to D.C. and those kind of D.C. area capital region jobs, we have different Navy and Air Force bases that are all around Southern Maryland, so it can be a great choice. If you're uh, at one of those bases, if you pcs here or you're you know, a civilian supporting those bases, Southern Maryland's a great choice because you're outside of that complex around the base, but you still have a pretty short commute getting in. I'm thinking Pax River, um, even Dahlgren in Virginia, and especially Andrews Air Force Base. If you're if you're at Andrews Air Force Base or Joint Base Andrews and you're looking uh, for Southern Maryland, that top part of Charles, that top part of Cal or Calvert, and if you don't mind a little more commute, you could even go down into St. Mary's. All right, so number five, um, with that longer commute, it means that cost of living is a little bit less. So by cost of living, I'm really talking about your housing costs, um, yes, because you're commuting, your transportation cost is going to be a little bit more. And depending on gas prices and things like that, um, it, it can it can cost a little bit more. But by far and away, a lot of areas in Southern Maryland are less expensive than other areas in Maryland, especially in that capital region where you're probably commuting um, and working around. So you, you can't beat Southern Maryland for, I think, the ability to commute into DC, the ability to go to Andrews Air Force Base, the ability to be at Pax River, and the cost of the homes. It's just a more affordable option. All right, my number four reason why you should move to Southern Maryland is the weather. I love Southern Maryland because we get four seasons. Um, summer is always super hot. You know, we get the 90 degree temperatures and it's humidity. Uh, I love the hot and humid. I love being out on the boat and doing that kind of stuff. So summer's amazing. Fall and spring are kind of, you get a fake summer in there on each end of those ones and you get some, some kind of funky weather in there. But for the most part, fall and spring are pretty moderate. And then you have winter. Now, I love the winters in Maryland just because we don't get a ton of snow. I don't mind like a little taste of snow, a few inches here, here a few inches there, and maybe a surprise big snowstorm every few years. But I want there to be hope in the winter. I don't want to feel like I'm going to be buried in 10 to 15 inches of snow all winter and never get to see spring or summer ever again. Um, so I love that Southern Maryland especially has some warmer weather in the in the winter time. It has some snow mixed in, but you still get some 40, 50, even 60 degree days in winter that just make you be able to hang on to the you know hang on to your sanity while you're waiting for that beautiful weather to return. Um, if you can't tell, winter's not my favorite. I can tolerate it for a certain amount of time, but spring, summer, and even that early fall into late fall, definitely by far my favorite time of year. My number three reason why you should move to Southern Maryland, why people choose to move to Southern Maryland, is the water. I mean, you really can't beat the amount of water that is down here in Southern Maryland uh, with the Patuxent River, the Potomac River, and the Chesapeake Bay. And when you start getting down to the St. Mary's River, the quality of the water, because there's less development, because there's less people, because there's less runoff, is just so much better. I grew up in Annapolis, and I can remember uh, being on the South River and not being able to see three, four inches down. And when I came to college at St. Mary's, at St. Mary's College, I was shocked to be able to see four feet down in the water in the St. Mary's River. Now, it's not every single day you're gonna be able to see that. Now, it's not gonna be every day you're gonna be able to see, you know, three, four, five feet down. But the water is so much cleaner down here, so much clearer. And not only about the water, clarity is awesome. Everyone likes swimming in you know, clean feeling water. Just the uninhabited feeling of a lot of the areas, a lot of the water on, in Southern Maryland is unique to Maryland. Because in the northern parts, those shorelines are so built up. You can't really see any you know, unique wild areas. Um, but in St. Mary's County especially, and into Charles County, and some of Calvert County too, there's just some natural beauty to go and see. I'm thinking like the Calvert Cliffs along the Chesapeake Bay. It's just one of those things you have to see from the water. 
to really appreciate what it is. Um, and then going down into St. Mary's County and up into Charles County, just those undisturbed shorelines of marshland and things like that, they're just beautiful. So if you're a bird watcher, if you just like to go out uh, and do some fishing or just sightseeing, you really can't beat how in tune with nature you can be when you're on the water down here in Southern. All right, so my number two reason why people choose to move down here when I think you should move down here is we don't have as many of these as other areas, but we're getting more and more breweries and wineries. So if you're someone who loves that local brewery, local winery feel, um, we're starting to get more and more. And I think the people that are building out these breweries and wineries are definitely seeing that people are really starting to value them. And with that and more customers coming, I think we're gonna see even more breweries and wineries. So it's just a really cool, neat vibe. I don't know if you've ever been to a brewery or winery, but it's one of my favorite places because it's a nice laid back atmosphere where you can get some food, you can have some drinks, but it doesn't feel like that formal stuffy sit down um, and eat. It just feels like a more natural laid back way to have a few drinks and a few meals with friends or family. All right, so my number one reason why uh, you should move to Southern Maryland is because you want to. Now you probably have done a whole bunch of research of different areas and you've kind of narrowed it down to Southern Maryland uh, and you're trying to figure out if it's the best fit for you. If it is, that's awesome. But if it doesn't feel like it is, then don't do it. Because Southern Maryland is unique, Southern Maryland is different than other areas, and Southern Maryland can be a great fit for a lot of people, but if it's not for you, that's okay. Now, if you want some help, if you want some local knowledge, I'm here to help you. If you want to know what all locals know and kind of get a, a feel for the area like a local, I'm happy to help you. So, so like I've said a few times before, if you're looking to move here, make sure you use that contact information below. Reach out, call me, text me, and also, if you want, you can scroll down to the first comment, click on the link, and it will set up a Zoom meeting with me at the time that's best for you, and we can talk about your move down here and figure out exactly where you want to be down here in Southern Maryland that fits your lifestyle, that fits your must-haves. And also, like I've said before, if you haven't yet and this video is helpful, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every time we put out new content. Hope to see you on the next video. Later. Mm -hmm.